Hello, uh, I am uh, Pastor Emeritus James T. Cumming. Uh, Pastor Eichers asked me to fill in for him at Lenten service on March 6th, and I'm happy to do that. By way of introduction, as you may have observed uh, since the beginning of January even, uh, many houses were decorated with red lights and hearts. Those decorations, of course, pointed to St. Valentine's Day, which was on February 14th. Uh, that was less than a month ago. Uh, that also was Ash Wednesday when we began our series of midweek Lenten services. Uh, since then, uh, you may have noticed many green shamrock decorations have taken the place of the red ones. Uh, those decorations were put up in anticipation of St. Patrick's Day, uh, which, of course, is on March 17th. Uh, it seems that everyone wants to be Irish on that day and celebrate that day. Uh, St. Patrick was the patron saint of Ireland, and you may know that Patrick uh, was not Irish. He was British. He went to Ireland and, of course, gets credit uh, for converting uh, the Irish from their native uh, paganism to Christ and Christianity. He is uh, therefore called the Apostle to the Irish. The green that I will wear on St. Patrick's Day is clan coming modern hunting tartan. Uh, as a Scottish Lutheran American, I can tell you about another St. Patrick whom we Lutherans can honor as a young man who rightly divided uh, or carefully distinguished between the law of God and the gospel of God, which we find in the Bible. Now, since he did that, he was able to invite people whom he contacted uh, to come to Jesus and enjoy the peace and joy rest for their souls that Jesus offers to us all. Uh, this St. Patrick was born of a noble family in Scotland in A.D. 1503. As a very learned teenager, he was infected by the Bible teachings of Martin Luther. Uh, Patrick Hamilton boldly confessed what he had learned from our spiritual forefather. Toward the end of this message, I will show you and ask you to read with me a few words that he wrote that demonstrate how he rightly divided law and gospel of God. And uh, we'll also tell you what it cost him to make that confession. Now, within the context of our Lenten series theme, which is fighting for the church of, the theme of this message is, it is when we rightly divide the law of God and the gospel of God that we can issue the wonderful, warm gospel invitation, come. Uh, this message is divided into four parts. In each part, you will hear the text from the Bible upon which the message uh, and the sermon is based. Join us on March 6th.